Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to continue our journey in discovering Excel 4.0 uh, functions. So in this uh, video, we want to list down the names of the worksheet without using Visual Basic. Now, like what was mentioned in the previous video, the Excel 4.0 functions are old macro functions that are currently replaced by the more modern Visual Basic and more modern Excel functionalities. You have to realize that back in the days, our computers are not so powerful. The interface is not as smooth as this. So Excel has to rely on functions to perform many of the tasks. So even if these are old forgotten functions, you can actually still use them in Excel as long as you know how to use them. Now, for this one, we want to list down the names of the worksheets and there's actually a macro Excel 4.0 function that can do that. It's going to be the get a workbook function. So it's get dot workbook and then open parenthesis and then you have to put a certain number here so the number is represent uh, represents different information that you can derive okay uh, in the workbook and i don't have all the equivalences here but you can actually find them in the internet somebody made a 683 page uh, manual about excel 4.0 functions now but specifically though the one that will list down the worksheet names is code one. So we have to use get that workbook open parenthesis one because that number signifies that you want to get the list of the names of the worksheets. So let's do that. Let me first erase this. So now in order to use a Excel 4.0 function, you have to go to the formulas tab and then under the formulas tab we're going to use the name manager which allows us to provide named cells or named references or even uh, formulas so from here we're going to click new and we're going to see this small pop-up we're going to assign a name for our quote-unquote function it's going to be list names and it's going to refer to a certain formula so for this one i'm going to say equals get that workbook open parenthesis and then come of one then now i'm going to click ok and if your problem has no hiccups it will just proceed as usual and then i'm now going to click close since my function is now ready to go now I prepared here a file that has a worksheet. Let me swap them around. So we have sheet one, sheet four, sheet three, and another random worksheet. So I'm now going to extract those names by using the function that I did. So equals, and then I'm going to say list sheet names, and you will see that it's being suggested to me now. So I could just tab. And unlike other functions that requires you to do an open, parentheses, and then arguments, since this is a reference, I don't have to use that. I just have to hit enter at this point. And you will see that I will have a horizontally uh, oriented list of worksheets, the arrangement of which is based on what we have here. So sheet one, sheet four, sheet three, and then March 2003. If I swap the worksheets around, it will not automatically update. You have to refresh the formula by um, going back to the first cell and then hit enter. Now, the functionality of Excel wherein it spills to the other cells is not available in the early versions of Excel. This can only be done in the recent version of Excel MSA 65. So if you are using Excel 2019 or earlier, you need to perform this a little differently. So you have to do the same as what I did with the name manager, but the execution is where the difference will lie. 
So instead of just typing one cell, you have to highlight four cells because we are expecting four values for the result. And then while these four cells are highlighted, you will type equals, and then you will call on the function that we created. And since we're using, we're simulating an old Excel approach, you don't just enter, you have to convert this into an array formula. So instead of enter, you have to click all together, control, shift, and then enter. So that would make the formula put the answers on the cells that you've highlighted. So you have to highlight the exact number or the number of cells that you're expecting to be populated. And that's it. We now managed to list down the names of the worksheets. And let's, um, let's transpose it. Like, for example, I want it to be um, vertically oriented instead of horizontal. So let me remove this one first. And take note, if you used an old version of Excel, you have to highlight them all and delete all together because you cannot delete just the first cell. Okay, you, you, Excel will not allow you to do that. You have to highlight all four of them and then delete. Now, in order to change this into a vertical arrangement, I will use one of the more modern functions not an, not an Excel 4.0 function, it's going to be the transpose function. So in modern iterations of Excel, the transpose function picks up ranges of a range of cells and changes their orientation from vertical to horizontal and vice versa. So th since this is horizontal, if I enter, it will convert into a um, vertically oriented result. Now, the next problem that we want to fix here is the presence of the name of the file that is also going to be part of the result. I want to remove the book one from the reference. So from here, I could update my formula. So I would say mid, open parentheses, so mid of this cells, comma, then I have to indicate to mid, where will I start? The thing is, we don't know exactly how, where to start, but we know that if we find the close curly bracket in my list of sheet names, that is where the uh, worksheet name will start, right? At least after it, so I have to type a plus one. So instead of giving mid a fixed value, I have to find the close bracket in my list of worksheets, but adjust one character to the right because that's where the worksheet name actually begins, one character after the close bracket, comma. Now we don't know exactly how many characters there are in the name of the worksheets. So I will have to use len, which will give me the length of the characters of the uh, names of the worksheet, and then close. Now I can also close the mid function, close the transpose function, hit enter, and now I have a list of worksheet names without the uh, function, or without the workbook name. So here's the formula, feel free to copy it. And with this, okay, I'm going to also put this in the uh, comment or in the description of this video. I hope this video helped you okay, uh, list down the worksheet names without using macros. And if ever you have questions, feel free to use the comments. I'll try to answer as soon as I can. And if ever you like this video, please, uh, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And if you have any requests or questions in Excel, also use the comment section and I will try to make a video for you if I know the answer. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.